my friend uh, Secretary Austin. It is my honor to be here in the Pentagon. Uh, Mr. Secretary, since uh, Hamas launched its brutal, brutal attack on October 7th, you were the first to fly to Israel on October 13th. Uh, you stood with us then and you stand with us today. The people of Israel will never forget uh, these moments. Uh, the President, the Administration, and you personally, Mr. Secretary, have been with us since day one. Uh, this includes working together to defend Israel against a massive attack uh, by Iran and its proxies, as you mentioned. Today we are at the crossroad. That will impact the entire Middle East. I am here to discuss the ways to achieve our common goals, uh, ensuring the security of the State of Israel and projecting the powerful ties between our countries. In Gaza, we must work together to ensure the return of 120 hostages, with no exception. We must end the terrorist regime of Hamas. In the North, we are determined to establish security, changing reality on the ground, and bringing our communities safely back home. We are working closely together to achieve an agreement, but we must also discuss readiness for every possible scenario. The greatest threat to, to the future of the world and the future of our region is Iran, and time is running out. Now is, now is the time to realize the commitment of the American administrations over the years to promise to prevent Iran from possessing nuclear weapons. Above all, we must discuss our extraordinary ties, projecting power together, discussing areas of disagreement as friends do, and standing strong together in the face of attacks, from missile attacks to diplomatic attacks on the global arena. Our friends and our enemies see this room and understand our power. We have a lot to discuss, Mr. Secretary. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.